it's amazing to look at the tapestry of the films and, and the talent that goes behind them. Um, but for me, there's one person that really shines through. Uh, I think Alan Rickman's performances, yeah, in these movies, especially you know in this film and and, and Half Blood Prince. Uh, talk a little bit about him and that idea that this is a character that has many different. Uh, he he appears differently depending on where you're standing. Uh, Snape. Alan Rickman is probably next to Maggie Smith the finest actor I've ever worked with. He just has that extraordinary quality of that without giving too much away you can see so much happening you know it's an extraordinary ability and you know his technique is he needs his feet to be planted very firmly on the ground. I remember doing a scene with him once on a hillside on Half Blood Prince and he got very frustrated because he he kind of feels the energy coming from the ground up oh. and his feet need to be really squarely planted on the ground and when I put him on this slopey hill he couldn't quite get <laughs> he lost his mojo for a moment um, bizarrely I adore what he does and we would talk often about the tragedy of Snape and the romance of that character not being able to show who he truly is and um, and actually he would come to work as Snape, because he's actually a, a very nice man, Alan. <laughs> but on set, uh, certainly on Order of the Phoenix, I thought, God, he's really prickly. Uh, <laughs> you know, he's really unpleasant. He was really unpleasant to the crew. He was unpleasant to Dan and everything. And it's only when I saw him away from work that I realized that there was a sort of method to his madness. He needed to be in that zone yeah. um, while he was working. And he... He's actually a very generous, sweet, funny man, yeah. but not when he puts that cape on. When he puts that cape on and he comes to work, all my, cr all my <laughs> second assistant directors are padding around him because he can kill with a look at 60 yards. You know.